Today I'll be testing a few tools I picked up recently to show you how to clean and test the flame sensor, which is the part that you see right in there. First step, I'll show you how to test it. Power is currently off right now. I'll go ahead and stick my multimeter up here and adjust this a little bit so you can see it. I'll take the wire off the flame sensor. Since this furnace is just running, it's a little bit warm, so be aware of that. This is a high efficiency furnace, so the draft inducer won't be hot to the touch. For the side that goes to ignition controller, I'll use my probe and just stick this in here. The color doesn't really matter since it'll just read as a negative reading. I'll put this over here. I'll set my multimeter to microamps DC, and then I'll use some jumpers to jump out W and G to R. So it's currently jumped out and I'll wait for the delay. First the draft inducer comes on. Then eventually the gas valve, the igniter will come on. It just came on. Then the gas valve will open. And as you can see, the flame sensor is now sensing current. So the flame sensor, if it's within a normal range, they're out, there's between like two and six microamps of current, so it's definitely working. So the furnace has fired everything in the correct order. And now I'll disconnect the jumpers so I can show you how to remove the flame sensor to clean it. So I'm currently using a quarter inch bit since I haven't gotten a flip bit yet. And then the DeWalt, I don't know the exact part number, but this is a 90 degree angle. And then here's the Klein 7-in-1. And I'll go ahead and stick this in here. You definitely need to buy a right angle adapter if you're doing this. Unless you want to deal with trying to get it out some other way. So I can start twisting out here. So now that it's out enough, I can just take it out by hand. And here's the flame rod also called the flame sensor so here is the flame rod slash flame sensor as you can see there is a little bit of build up so i'll go ahead and use something abrasive not super abrasive like uh coarse sandpaper but i've heard that dollar bills and other stuff will work so i'll go get some right now there was no dollar bill that i could find so i'll just use some white paper just turn it around a little bit Make sure that it's cold when you're doing this because you don't want to catch the paper on fire. So it's a little bit cleaner now. It doesn't need to be shiny. It just needs to have some of the build up taken off. So I'll go ahead and reinstall this. This Klein 7-in-1 HVAC, I believe 32304 is the part number, has been very helpful. I've used it a lot. So now it's snug but not over tightened. So I'll go ahead and try and get this off and reattach the wire and then I'll connect the jumpers now just to verify that everything's firing properly. And I'll just go ahead and hold this against here. I don't recommend this. And I'll make sure to turn the furnace on, of course. Everything seems to be working properly, so I'll take the jumpers off now. I hope you found that helpful on how to use some basic tools to test your flame sensor and clean it. I have a Discord server link is in the description. Please subscribe.